Hey, so what's going on everybody? I just wanted to share with you guys how I installed the Android L developer system image onto the Google Nexus 5 phone. Um, as I'm speaking to you right now, I went on to the factory images for Nexus devices page and I still have yet to find the official release of Android 5.0 Lollipop for the Google Nexus 5. So I'm still playing around with the Android L developer system image. So you know, this may help some of you out if you want to get it installed onto your Google Nexus 5 phone and experiment with it, try it out a little bit, test with it, whatever you need to do. Make sure that you back up all your data right now because it's going to go through some processes here of unlocking the bootloader and installing the preview system image, which is going to basically wipe out your phone. So make sure your pictures and music and files, all that stuff's backed up off your phone. So right now I'll show you down here I have the... Go into the settings real quick here. Uh, go into all apps. Come over and go into all uh, into the settings app there, and then down to about phone. Of course, you can see model number Nexus 5, Android version 444 KitKat. Now, what you guys need to make sure of is that you are already a developer. So down where it says build number, make sure you tap that multiple times, five to seven times, until it says you are already a developer or you are now a developer and then what you want to do is click choose back and you'll see developer options listed here above where it says about phone so then you got to select developer options and of course you can see usb debugging is checkmarked you want to that may not be checkmarked for you but you want to make sure that's checkmarked and that you you know that's turned on so when i go back to my home screen here at the very top it says when in the notification area usb debugging connected and I am all set as far as as far as the phone goes there. Now over on my Windows 8 computer here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to manage because I want to take a look at the device manager in here real quick. This is where people run into issues. In the device manager under portable devices here, I have Nexus 5 listed. Now yours, yours like your list should look just like my list here. If you have this portable device and this is sticking out and there's a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it, that means you don't have the drivers installed. This may not work for you. So you'd have to download the Google USB driver. And like I said, if there's any comments, guys, for the video or you need help with anything, just leave me a comment. Um, I have videos showing how to do all that stuff. So I'm assuming right now also that you guys have the... Android Developer Tools bundle downloaded to your computer and set up and updated and ready to go. So what we're going to do first is go to get the system image from the Android Developer site. So I'm going to type in uh, Android Developer Developers and I'm going to go ahead and go here to developer.android.com. Now to speed things up, I already downloaded the system image, but I'm just going to show you this is where you go to get it. So over here, um, just click learn more. And then of course, over here, you can see over here, it says to test your apps on a, on a real device, you can flash a Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 with the Android preview system image. So you want to left click that. And then that gets us in here to the preview images that you can download that will work for your phone. So there is the Nexus 5 image. And this one contains the Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet. These are the images right here. What you would do is I'm using the Nexus 5 phone, so I'm going to select that that image, and I'm going to come down here and agree to that, and then download Hammerhead. You would click Download Hammerhead, and that's going to download to your computer. All right, so I already downloaded it to my computer, and when it gets done downloading, it should look something like this here. So just to speed things up, like I said, I already downloaded it. And what you need at this point is some type of an extraction program. Like I'm using something called WinRAR. That is a free program, which allows me to right click on this file and extract all files here. So that's what I'm going to do. Move that out of the way. And you can see it creates a new folder here that it's extracting all the files to. Now, I already flashed my phone earlier, so the bootloader is already unlocked on my phone. Again, if you guys need to know how to do that or whatever, I'm not sure how far everybody is or where you're at. Just I have videos showing how to do that or leave me a comment. Okay, so now that the folder right here extracted from the compressed 
uh, file here, you want to double click that and go in here. Okay, here is your, here's basically your, you know, your factory image in here and all the stuff that comes along with it, the radio, the bootloader, everything, you know, that you need. So what you want to do is select all these, all six files, right click on them and click copy. Now in a folder here called development, I have what's called the ADT bundle. See, I, I just created a folder called development. I downloaded the ADT bundle, which I'm hoping that everybody has if you're watching my video. I downloaded that to a folder called development. So in here, you want to go into the SDK folder and you want to go into platform tools. So in here in platform tools, you want to right click somewhere down here in the white background of the plane area and click paste and paste all those files into the platform tools folder. So now once you get all those files pasted in there, again, come down here somewhere in the white area, hold down the left shift key on the keyboard, continue to hold and hold that key down, hold down your shift key on the keyboard and right click. And you'll get a link in the list here that says open command window here. Click that. So that opens up my command window. Now, what I want to do real quick is check that I have the Nexus 5 phone connected and it's showing up. So type in ADB space devices and it should come up and show you your list of devices attached. If you had multiple devices attached, you'd get all the devices here with the serial number. This one is actually showing the serial number, I believe. So what you want to do now is type in, I know that it's okay and it's showing up in the list, so all my drivers, everything's all set here to go to do the flash. So what I want to do is type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. You can see my phone's going to shut off and it's going to boot into fastboot. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys also right now why I'm in fastboot. Your lock state should be unlocked. So if it does not say unlocked, you need to unlock the bootloader first. And in order to unlock the bootloader, you would have to type in um, OEM. Well, actually, you'd have to type in fastboot OEM unlock just like this and hit. You, you don't hit enter right now, but you would hit enter if your bootloader is not unlocked. That'll go through. And that again, when you do that, that's going to format your phone and, and you'll lose all your data. When you relock the bootloader, it does not wipe your phone out. It's only when you unlock the bootloader. So mine's unlocked. Okay. I was just showing you there what to do in case you got this far and you had a locked bootloader. But at this point, all you have to do now is type in flash dash all and hit enter. This is going to go through right now and start writing the Android L developer preview system image to my phone. So you should be all good. Okay guys, so we are done here. It's finished. It goes through a series of erasing and, and rewriting and rebooting and doing a few things here. And as you can see down here on the Nexus 5, it has Lollipop starting to load up. Android 5.0 Lollipop, the preview system image. So. I'm going to go ahead and click enter, close out of that, close out of this. And we'll just give it a minute. And blow this up here a little bit. Let's just take a look at this. Move this thing out of the road. Give this just a minute to boot up. We've got some crazy looking dots and lights flying around always something new and special with android how much fun is that and of course a light back there on my ceiling gotta love that okay so we'll, oh cool all right all right so all you gotta do now is there is the welcome screen for that is basically the welcome screen for, let's see here, warning, this preview version. Um, let's just say this is a preview version of the Android system image and is subject to change. As you can see, it says this image is not subject to the same testing as the factory. And it can cause 
devices or services or applications to stop working. I kind of shortened it up there, but that is what can happen with this. So what I'm going to do is click OK and keep moving forward. So there is the welcome screen for Lollipop. And we're going to go ahead and go through that. Of course, you can see now everything here is a little bit different. I'm going to skip past all this, skip anyway. And checking for updates, um, I'm going to skip. It allows you to skip down here. We just want to get to the home screen here. Skip, skip, skip anyway. Um, no name. I have no name. Nope. Skip. Of course, all these services and, and just like the other welcome screen on KitKat. So we're going to go ahead and get right in here. There it is. We're at the home screen. So for Android 5.0 Lollipop. So I'll click got it. And there you go, guys. We will go ahead and go in here quick to settings. Scroll down to the bottom where it says about phone. And there is the model number, the Nexus 5 Android version 5.0. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And you guys have a good one. Good luck. See you. Thanks.